Yo, what is up guys? I'm Nick. And I'm Katie. And you're watching Nick and Katie. And today we are back at the pit at Fairland Bike Park for our second time. And that is because you guys got our last Fairland video to 100 likes, which means we come back and try to ride some features that we did not attempt the last time that we came. So we got some good news and some bad news. Uh, I did not complete my mission. I had to do the second drop but I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on my drops and I'm gonna be coming back here and I'm gonna try to smash that drop. But the good news. The good news is that I did the wall ride that I was gonna try from the last time, which is the bigger wall ride. Look how big this wall ride is. Oh my God. And it was successful, which was super sick. So you'll be seeing that in this video. And then I also did a little extra trick, which you will see in the video as well, which I was honestly probably even more stoked on than the wall ride. So you'll have to see what that is in a minute. So we're not gonna give you the full rundown of this place like we did in the last video. If you wanna see that, go check out our last video on Fairland. It's a super good in-depth video of all the features that you could possibly wanna ride here and how to ride them. But first, be sure to like and subscribe. All right, let's get into the video. In 2022, I began to get a solid grasp on jumping to the point where I'm now even throwing little whips in the air. This year's goal is to start working some basic air tricks into the mix to add a little spice to the repertoire. Today, I started practicing one-handers on a perfect little jump at the bottom of this run. I decided I would move my brake lever out of the way a bit so I wouldn't have to worry about grabbing a handful of front brake when I landed. My plan was to slowly release a few fingers when I reached the apex of flight after that, practice releasing my thumb and then work up to my entire hand letting go of the bars. Ah. I keep hooking my thumb. It feels safe with the thumb. I feel like once I let go of the thumb, it's like a bigger commitment. I need to really focus on getting up too. That way I have more time to do it because I think I'm like focusing too much on it and then I'm not getting like good air. You try to take your thumb off first and then keep your other That's a good off. idea. That's a good idea actually. Yeah. Train both slowly. That's a really okay. good idea. Yeah, for sure. Let's try that. That's very smart. See, that's why I need you here. A womanly touch always helps. I feel like I'm letting off a little bit more every time. Ooh. Like you would think one hand less wouldn't, wouldn't be that much, but like it feels like you have so much less on the bike. That felt like something. That felt like a thing. I felt like it came off oh. more that time. Uh, yeah, you can see it. Oh shit! Young <laughs> Yumi. The hand completely disconnected that time. How did you? Fine. I decided that I'm gonna start like keeping this arm more solid because normally you can kind of kind of be loose, but then when you're loose, like you, it starts to go like that, and that's what I was feeling like weak, kind of. Oh snap, boy! Maybe I should try to keep it doing at that level for a little bit. A couple more runs of that, get used to it. That's epic. So epic. Yeah. Oh. That one felt butter. I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with it now. It's starting to feel really good. Oh. <gasps> 
That's so sick, dude. Oh my god, it's so crazy. I feel like I could do the one footer now too. Maybe another day. Maybe another day. Oh my god, it feels so sick. Heck. I started to realize that I could pretty much go totally loose from the peak of flight until right before I landed. And that was the best time to take a handoff and would also be the best time to do other tricks in the future. After a few more runs, I began to take my handoff more dramatically and with more confidence. I was really stoked to be getting the hang of it and after realizing I could intuitively grab back onto the bars, smack dab in the middle of the grip, I gained the confidence to move the brake lever back over to a natural riding position. I do attribute a lot of my confidence to do this trick to my new Census This Is The Boss grips. They have a long grip that is designed with free riding in mind. So if you want to learn more about these grips, definitely check out our video about them. Freaking awesome. Totally helps with doing one handers. Now that I can take my hand off the bars, the next thing to work on is doing it on bigger jumps and taking my hand off more dramatically. But that can wait for another day and another video. Today, I have a wall ride to conquer. So last time I was here at the pit at Fairland Bike Park, I did this here wall ride, which is on the beginner run, which I think it's a little bit above a beginner level. But either way, I told you that if you guys get the last video of Fairland Bike Park to 100 likes, I will come back and hit the bigger wall ride, which is up there and we'll show you in a second. But first I want to warm up a little bit on this. That's what I'm going to do now. And then hopefully we can move up to the bigger one. All right, so just got a little warm up on this here and it felt pretty good. So I think maybe I'll hit it one more time and then head up to the bigger wall ride. Uh, the biggest secret with this for me was last time I was here, I was using those rollers, which are super freaking gnarly steep rollers. And I was, it, I found it really hard to get speed basically. So this time I came from the intermediate line, crossed over and basically kind of beeline through there and got a lot more speed. And the faster you're going at kind of an angle into the wall ride, the more you just stick to it, the faster you go, the more you stick to it. So that's gonna be my strategy with going up to the bigger wall ride. So, all right, let's head over that way and get to it. All right, so we are up at the bigger wall ride. And as you can tell, it is a much bigger wall ride. But yeah, I'm gonna go into it. My strategy is gonna be to cut through this trail over here rather than take the berm because I know I'm not gonna be able to get enough speed off that berm. So I'm hoping I can come in here and not slip too much on this gravel because as you can see, this ground is really rocky and gravelly. So if I come in at a weird angle, it's possible that I could, you know, slip or something and then smack right into the wall. So I'm really trying to avoid that, coming at it as straight as I possibly can. And uh, yeah, there's not gonna be much of like backing out again because the gravel is so loose. So yeah, we're just gonna send it. And I think if I go a little bit too slow, I'll be able to pop off and kind of land here. So shouldn't be too high consequence, hopefully. So we'll knock on wood to that. But yeah, let's get to it. It just feels so loose right in through there. Then it makes me like really question like hitting off that dirt so fast. Oh, he did it. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, I kind of did. You did. Yeah. Oh, it was a little bit sloppy, but I'll take that as a success, I guess. But I'm definitely going to try it again because I feel like I kind of half arched it. So, yeah, not as scary as I thought, honestly. I wasn't even going as fast as I thought I needed to, and I made it over the majority of it. So, yeah, back to it.
Yeah. All right, so I freaking did it, yo. This is probably, I would say, the hardest feature at Fairland. So I feel completed. Uh, I've completed the place basically. So yeah, pretty stoked on that. It really wasn't much harder than the easier one. So I would say if you can do the easier one, step it up and do this one. All you really need is more speed. So yeah, super freaking stoked, dude. Yee. Hey. <laughs> All right, so we had an absolute blast at Fairland Bike Park. And I was really stoked to ride away with the things that I did today. It's a bit of a bummer that Katie wasn't able to do what she wanted to get done today. But I feel like sometimes when you go to a place and you're just not really feeling something, it's pretty smart to, you know, save it for next time. There's always next time and there's no reason to hurt yourself and push yourself beyond what you feel like you're able to do that day. Check I honestly before you wreck yourself. Exactly. And honestly, I know that Katie can do that drop. So it's just a matter of time. So we get back here and try it again. <laughs> be sure to like this video and also if you really enjoyed our content please subscribe because then you will be able to see everything and you won't miss anything exactly literally like 80 percent of the people watching this video according to our analytics are actually subscribed so if you're one of those people be sure to freaking subscribe man we really appreciate it we officially have channel memberships and that means that you can uh, support us in this journey that we're creating here for you guys. So if you join us, we can do more for you. We can show you more. We can do more reviews and we can give you more. We'll give you more if you give, <laughs> if you give us your money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for riding with us today and we will catch you guys next Sunday. Peace.